Hey guys, it's Brittany with Scott LaRay Marketing. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a neighborhoods page using the landing page platform within Command. This will allow you to advertise a neighborhood that you cover. This can be shared as a URL or also used as a destination URL for a Facebook ad or added to a Facebook post. However, I'll also be showing you how to add this as a tab right on your website. So to start, I'm just logged into KW Command and I'm on the home screen. I'm going to be clicking on the consumer tab, which is right at the bottom left-hand side. And then right when you click that, it actually brings you right to your landing pages tab. So these are landing pages that we have currently set up. You may have none here, which is fine, but this is where we're going to be adding this page today. So to start, I'm just going to be clicking on add, create new page right on the top right hand corner. And then I'm actually going to be creating a standalone page. And then I'll click create page. Once this page populates, the first thing I'm going to do is just label this page as the neighborhood that I want to be advertising. So as far as neighborhoods go, you can either label this as the specific neighborhood you're looking to pull up, or if there's a certain zip code that you're trying to advertise. So I'm actually gonna put in a zip code. So I'm gonna do Bradenton, Florida, 34207. So once I have my title in, I'm just gonna come over here to the widget side, right on the right hand side, and I'm going to grab the market snap. And I'm just gonna drag that and drop it right onto the blank platform. So when you first drag and drop it, it's essentially just gonna pull the default neighborhood, which is Barton Hills in Austin, Texas. Once you guys are seeing that information, we're gonna edit that by clicking configure widgets on the bottom right hand corner. Once you click that, the only widget available should be the new market snap, and we're just going to click on it. And then you'll see that you have an option for a header, a postal zip code, and then once you add your zip code, we can then select our neighborhood, if you choose to, from a drop down list. So for my header, I'm just going to put Bradenton, Florida. And then for my zip code, 34207. And then I'm not going to add in a neighborhood. However, once I add my zip code, you'll see I can click the drop down list and I have all of these neighborhoods to select from. So if you see this neighborhood that you're trying to add specifically, you can add that in. And then I'm just going to click on save and apply. And then what that does is you'll see it pulls that entire zip code and it updates all of the information. Now, if I want to go in and maybe narrow that down, I can click on a specific neighborhood click on save and apply again, and it will narrow that down to a smaller location with different statistics. So now that you have that saved, the first thing you wanna do is click on save landing page. And then it will say, are you sure you want to save this? Click save. Then you'll see that it populates at the top, but it's not live yet. So what we're going to do is click on these three dots again, Click on edit. And once it populates, you'll see the same information you just had. And now we're just gonna click on publish page. If you go straight to publish page before saving the landing page, the widget that you just added with that neighborhood information tends to default back to the original information. So it tends to default back to that Austin, Texas information rather than the edits that you just made just so you know why we're doing it in two steps. So once I click on publish page, I'm gonna click on yes. And then you'll see that this URL is now live. So I'm just gonna open that up so you guys can see what it looks like. So that's, that's it, it just has your neighborhood information. So you can essentially, it just has your neighborhood statistics. So now what I can do is I can come over here to overview and I'm just gonna click on agent site pages. And then I'm gonna click on create a new site on the top right hand corner and on my agent site and create page. 
Once you have that, I'm just going to type in my title again, just so I can tell them apart. So I'm just going to label this Bradenton Neighborhood. And now that I have that, I'm actually going to come back to this page and I'm going to copy my URL. And then I'm going to open up an iframe generator. And I usually just use this one. It's the top one that comes up on your search. It's literally iframe-generator.com. And then all I'm going to do is paste my URL to that page. So again, I just copied the URL right from my page that I just created. I'm going to paste it into the iframe URL section. And then just to make sure that it's going to look correct, I'm going to click on preview. And you'll see here the dimensions are very small. So I'm going to come back to the iframe generator. And for width, I'm just going to add in 800. And for height, I'm also going to add in, let's do 800 as well, and then do preview. And that kind of makes it a little bit larger for you. So now that I like that, I'm just going to click on generate. And then you'll see that it automatically essentially highlights it for you. You're just going to click on copy it, which will copy that code for you. And once you've done that, we're going to go right back to our command platform. We already have our title added. And then I'm just going to add in content blocks. I'm actually going to do layout. That way this will be centered for you guys. So I'm just going to click on layout blocks. And then I'm going to click on the, the capital E, which is one third section. And I'm going to drop that right at the top of my page. And now you'll see once I drop that, I have three separate cells. We're going to be working right with the center cell just to make sure this information is centered for you. And then once you have that, I'm just going to click on content blocks. And then I'm going to click on the text, which is the lowercase o. So I'm going to drag that. And I'm going to make sure that it's right in that center tile. You want to make sure that it's only highlighting the orange center tile. Don't be below and make sure that you're not populating it above. You want it to be right inside that orange box in the center. Once you drop that in, I'm just going to highlight my text and then just paste my code right over it. Once you've done that, if you just double click it, it will populate with your information off that page. Now, in order to actually save a website page, you need to have a widget added to the page. So what we're going to do is go right back up to the widget section. And we're just going to drop the contact form underneath what we just added. That way, if someone also wants to contact you as an agent, they'll have access to do so right on that page. So I'm just going to drag the contact form and I'm just going to drop it. There we go. And now you'll see the contact page is right underneath it. So once you've done that, I'm just going to click on configure widget and make sure that my contact form has the correct phone number. You'll see that there are two options. So I'm going to update that so it has our mobile number. Click save and apply. And then save changes. You'll get this pop up and then we'll just click yes. Same thing as before, you'll notice it populates right at the top, but it's not live. It actually has a gray eye, which means that it hasn't actually been added to our website yet. So now what I'm going to do is click on site and app settings. And then I'm going to click on site pages. Once this page loads, I'm just going to click on add page. And then I'll scroll down on my list and select the page that I just created. So Bradenton Neighborhood. That's also why it's important to title them just so you can tell them apart. So I'll click on that and then continue. And then I'm just going to label this. And then I'm going to copy that. I'll do that for my SEO as well. And then I'm just going to make the slug Bradenton. So once I've added this information in, this is going to be my title of the page. So that's how it will populate on my actual website. 
and then the slug, so my URL, in order for me to share this specific page, it will be my website URL, and then it will be slash Bradenton, so this right below. So now all I'm going to do is just click Save Changes in order to make sure that it's live. And now I can go, I'll copy this and just show you guys what it looks like specifically. There you go. And now this is right on our website. So if I'm on the home page on my drop down list, you can now see Bradenton, Florida neighborhood information. I can click on it and it pulls up the page that we just created. And that's how you add an individual neighborhood right to your website.